Within this lesson, we'll look at dividing decimals by single-digit whole numbers when there are easily identifiable multiples. We will also be using a place value chart. As you can see, we have this um, decimal number. We have 24 hundredths divided by 3, or 0 0.24 divided by 3. First off, we'll go ahead and break it apart into its tenths and hundredths, meaning the decimal. And then we'll go ahead and model it with place value disks. As you can see here, I have modeled that number with two tenths and then also with four hundredths. And I'm asked to divide it into three equal groups. Here, as you see here, I can't divide this into three equal groups. It would have been nice if there were three tenths in there. Then I could divide it into three equal groups of one tenth each. Since I cannot do that into that tenths place, I actually do a regroup from the tenths place to the hundredths place, remembering that each of these tenths is worth ten hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'll do the same with this tenth as well, regrouping it to that hundredths place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I have two sets of ten there, with just twenty with that original of four, so I have twenty-four hundredths. Maybe I should actually just do a little cross out there so I know that I've regrouped those. And I'm going to go ahead and divide 24 hundredths then into three equal groups. And 24 divided by 3 is 8, so I know that I have 8 for each of those equal groups. Groups of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So that 24 hundredths divided by 3 is equal to this here. We've got that there, which is equal to eight hundredths, eight hundredths. So there, how do I write eight hundredths? Zero point zero eight. Here I have five point one zero divided by five, and I'm going to go ahead and express this by using the unit form. Let's think about the unit form here. First off, I have five and five ones. 5, 1, so that it would be easy to divide 5 ones by 5. Another thing that I recognize here is that I actually have 10 of something. And I have 10 what? 10 what? Or within this number? Hundreds! And then so all I would need to do is to go ahead and divide each of those by 5. The 5 ones and the 10 hundredths. And I could see that back within a place value chart. So decomposing this into its ones and into its hundredths would allow me to really look at this number very easily to be able to divide it by five because I recognized it. And then I'd be able to rewrite it with that unit form very easily. Remember it's ten hundredths here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten and five for the ones, one, two, three, four, and five. Divided by five, that's five equal groups. So one, two, three, four, five. Five divided by five is one there. And then I have a decimal point, of course, a zero in the tenths place, and the five equal groups here. We have 10 hundredths, and I divide it by five, I would get two, or two hundredths, 1.02. So, 5 and 10 hundredths divided by 5 is 1 and 2 tenths. Here I have another problem, and again, what we're going to do this time is we're going to think about multiples of 8. Let's count by 8. We have 8, then 16, then 24, and 32, and 40. Do we recognize any of these multiples within this decimal right here? Not a 2 here, but there is a 24 right here. There's also a 32, the 24 and the 32. We can decompose this number into its parts here, where it is that we have 24 what within this number of 24.32 or 24 and 32 hundredths. We have 24 what? Hopefully you said ones, along with what to make up that number. 32 what? 
32 hundredths make up that number. So it's a way to write that number back into unit form. By doing that, we can go ahead and make our place value chart and think about dividing it by 8. Dividing it by 8, or into those 8 groups. So we have 1s, 10s, and 100s. So I've set up my place value chart, and I'm just going to go ahead and place this number into there. And I go 24 1s, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And you'll see in a second why it is that I set it up that way. For hundreds, I have 32 hundreds. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. At this point, I'm dividing by 8. So I'll divide the 1s by 8 first. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. 1 group, 2 groups, 3 groups, 4 groups, 5 groups, 6 groups, 7 groups, 8 groups. 8 groups of what? 8 groups of 3. And then for the hundredths, that's 32 divided by 8, which is actually 4. 1 group, 2 groups, 3 groups, 4 groups, 5 groups, 6 groups, 7 groups, and 8 groups. 8 groups of 4. So I have this here, 8 in the hundreds place, and as a placeholder within the tenths place, I better put a 0. Read our whole equation. Read our whole equation. 24 and 32 hundredths divided by 8 equals 3 and 8 hundredths. Okay, it's your turn to try. Remember to think about the multiples of 7. 7, 14, 21. 28 as you are solving this problem. Knowing those multiples can help you with those division problems and knowing what to break this down into. How did you choose to break this down to begin with? Notice that there's 14 here, and there's a 21 here. 14 what? Ones? Well, it's actually a 28. And there's 28 what? In this case, 28 is what within this number? It's 28 thousands. Hopefully you did write thousands. I didn't get confused here. So we'll take 14 ones to divide it by 7 into 7 groups. And we'll end up getting 2 ones. And then we'll take 28 and divide it by 7 and we'll get 4 thousandths. And then how do you write? two ones four thousandths in standard form, you write 2.004. On the next screen, I'll show this with the place value chart. Here's that problem again, where it is that I have 14.028, and I'm dividing it by 7. Remember that I broke it up into 14 ones. 14 divided by 7 is 2. It is possible to use a standard algorithm to solve that problem as well. So what you have is 14.028 divided by 7, where your divisor is 7. 7 cannot go into 1, or that 110. 7 can go into that 14, or the 14 ones. 14 ones divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14, and 14 minus 14 is 0. I bring down the next 0. 0 divided by 7 is 0. 0 times 7 is 0. 0 minus 0 is still 0. I bring down the 2. 2 divided by 7 is 0. That's the 2 hundredths in this case. Um, 0 times 7 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. And I can bring down the 8. And what I brush brought down altogether then is 28 thousandths. 28 divided by 7 is 4. And 4 times 7 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. And then... Um, my decimal point, because I'm dividing by a whole number, stays consistent there. And I get 2.004. That's that standard algorithm for that same problem. One last example here. How are these two problems alike? Hmm. 
one of the things that we notice about these problems is actually our divisor for each of these problems is the same. We'll also notice that the digits are the same here. We've got 36.048, or 36 and 48 thousandths. We have 36048 here as well, where the digits are the same there. The only difference there is that we have a decimal point in this one here, whereas we don't have a decimal point over here. How could we have gotten this to be equal to this over here? 36.048. What would we multiply it by? We can multiply it by a 10 to the power of 3, or 1,000. In other words, we could have rewritten this 36.048 as 36,048 thousandths, and then divided it by 6. We know how to divide something along those lines there by 6. And then we can convert that back so that the thousandths is back towards standard form. 6 can't go into 3, but 6 can go into 36. 6 goes into 36 6 whole times, and you need to be very careful where you place that in that quotient or the answer, because we were dividing 36 there. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. I'll bring down that 0 there. And we have 0 divided by 6 is 0. 0 times 6 being 0. 0 minus 0 being 0. Bring down the 4. 4 divided by 6 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. And then I can bring down the 8. 48 divided by 6 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. And 48 minus 48 is 0. So I have this equaling 6,000 eight thousandths, which equals what as a in standard form? Get 6.008, where I ended up taking this here and dividing it by 1,000. So I could use that place value there and my understanding of place value to figure out my answer. At 36.048 divided by 6 equaling 6.008. So we have multiple means to be able to divide um, decimals by that whole number, especially when we recognize some of those digits that are within our dividend, that number we're dividing.